dear parents teachers educators principals and masters we are in the crisis period and in the crisis period we need to be extra conscious of our leadership you know every crisis is also an opportunity there is a chinese word called pinyin weiji they that means both in china and taiwan it's called pinyin weiji means crisis it also has a meaning of opportunity every crisis is an opportunity for a wise person we should not take crisis is going to put us down this crisis we have to sail through we have to overcome and we shall overcome but remember my dear teachers my principals my masters and so on people who matters remember that your leadership matters and at what if if there is a good leadership the country will move forward if there is a good leadership the global level the un level the united nations will move ahead if there is a good leadership in catholic schools the principals and masters the teachers the educators the managers if they have the good qualities that schools will sail through sail through these difficulties i am sure we have enough and more difficulties and challenges in these days especially and the coming days the post corona time we will face more and more difficulties and challenges we need to sail through we need to steer through we need to overcome these challenges through our good leadership and what are the good qualities of a leader the first thing all the principles in the school leadership i'm talking about the first and foremost quality of a good leadership is integrity the persons in the on this chair called principal or headmaster or a teacher and educator must be a person integrity with integrity integrated persons so remember this is also for the parents every one of us is expected to have integrity that's the first point the second point is the principal must have or the headmaster the leadership must have clear goals where we are moving that has to be clear if we do not know where to go where we are going we will not reach the destiny that's why clear goals must be there this year in and through this crisis when we start the school we should have a goal what is our expectation think about that and the third point is a principal or headmaster or a leader and a person who in leadership must have good example set good examples for people people must see you people must observe you and see that you are a role model because you have something to contribute your entire personality is a model for people and fourth point for a good leader is to have a vision you must be a visionary vision must be there vision means where to move and how to go what are the plans etc and i should have a, for example the catholic schools vision may be of of making the school and its children and uh, all round developed you know all round development we call integral school etc that must be our goal in uh, for example another goal can set for example is uh, now the migrant workers are suffering millions of them in our country every catholic principles must make a rule every school should make a policy not a rule a policy that as much as possible we will admit the migrant children in our schools this is called vision such vision has to be part of the leader and the leader should also have clear communication these things have to be communicated well parents you know often the problems happen in the school is because of lack of communication we should have communication i i remember years ago one of the principals used to write to parents beautiful letters called dear parent letters and i have seen many many parents used to keep those letters of the principal so communication can be various levels what is important is you have to communicate what is in your mind to people your colleagues your companions your friends your collaborators that is important the communication is very very important for a leader you may have wonderful ideas but you are not communicating that which will not reach communication is a uh, transmitting the message to the messenger and the receiver that has to go very well that is why leadership has to be a, a communicating leadership 
and we also have you know that leaders should also expect the best in persons their colleagues their teachers their parents you must expect students you must expect the best not the worst we cannot with, go with the negativities we should have positive thinking that is very very important for a, a leader and a leader must support i think that we can you know a supporting person not discouraging you know oh you have not done this you are, you say positive things you will see the the results also will be positive as even pavlov says no positive reinforcement will give you positive results negative reinforcement will give you negative results the theory called appreciative inquiry is full of that positivity encouraging supporting that is very very important for a good leader next quality of a good leader is a person who encourages everybody which is almost supporting and encouragement go uh, hand in hand the uh, another important quality a leader you should have especially in this period the crisis period and after you should you recognize people's people's ability goodness suppose somebody small thing recognize them appreciate them award them reward them say good words about them that is a recognition is very important because as human beings even abraham mahaswalo the theory he brought out the needs of the people one of them is everybody needs a steam everybody needs a recognition therefore a principal or a headmaster of a school in charge or a leader in any level must have that capacity to to recognize people another quality he says you know the person must be stimulating person whatever he does must be a kind of you know energetic it has to stimulate other people this you know if the principal himself or the headmaster himself is lazy the principal himself is lifeless not so active then all entire system will go entire school will be like this the ability of the principal leadership matters mind you and the ability of the principals to take everybody on active mode is very very important that's why stimulating and he should be also working systematically punctually and uh, also uh, also he should be a man of hard work stimulating person that's very important for a principal at this juncture and uh, another quality principal should have is uh, he must be he must be concentrating on the team work as i say no in a paradigm shift of catholic education i have uh, given one talk early in that one i i said we should shift from i me myself to we i me myself to we team work attitude must be there they would not see none of us can achieve alone anything we all uh, believe me somebody asked me in a, in a school i think in bhubaneswar students asked me father we are all independent i want to be independent i said you cannot be independent because we are all interdependent if you say you are so independent i'll ask you who made this clothes for you somebody else is working for example we are breathing every day trees are responsible the entire environment is helping us we are interdependent we cannot be independent mind you as therefore in a school's success also depending upon the teamwork take everybody along with you you should have staff with you students with you leadership with you the school parliament with you then you will see your school will go higher and higher that's why team spirit must be there selfish interest should not be there individual uh, achievement should not be the goal let us have together as a team work this is very important and finally a teacher must be an inspiration inspiring teacher principal must be an inspiration to all a leader must be an inspiring leader in and through his examples his words his communications his vision his ideology his encouragement his stimulating work and his overall his wisdom i think this this crisis period is reminding us all 
to go back to the leadership qualities of each individual who are placed in a particular responsible position in a school as principals headmasters teachers class teachers management etc we must pay attention to this aspect seriously and your leadership this is an opportunity as chinese say this is the crisis is but this crisis is an opportunity for to prove your mettle prove your capacity prove your capability as a good leader good leader to take all of us all the school all through this pandemic crisis and i am sure these leadership qualities will be reflected upon and also enhanced enhanced upon during this this uh, lockdown period that is the only way for us because many challenges are awaiting us with many opportunities for a good leader thank you very much and god bless you